that wire. This is a good reason not to cut too far into your wall. 600 volts in that wire. Okay, today is a special day. Is it? Today's Sweet Peas Day. What? And this is a day that actually people were requesting. What? Talking about. Electrical? Electrical. Today's the day. Hopefully. We're running electrical mm. and Sweet Pea's gonna try not to shock herself today. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> it's because once you do it, I think you hold a charge. So the next time it's easier. Or it's because your husband didn't turn the power off properly. That's true, I didn't wanna, I, I already blamed you in the last vlog, so. <laughs> There were a few comments on last week's video about people being bummed that they didn't get to see us run the electrical. Relax, we haven't run the electrical yet. We're doing that today. So you're gonna be able to... We got like a really weird outlet up here. Up there. That our water heater's plugged into through an extension cord. It's like just kind of sloppy. But it's been like that for years. So we're moving this outlet down the wall so we can plug in guitar, bass amps, that sort of thing. We're moving the one uh, by the garage motor down so we can use it in the garage, charge tools. We have outlets, we have wires, and the wires, Sweepy saved them from when we did Rio's build, Rio's room. Yeah, but this is the what? wire we bought. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I do that every time. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so glad you're filming that. I'm um, not, that was sad. Uh, <laughs> what's so I walked down the stairs yesterday to find Sweepy and Shiloh mudding this wall. I think he's seen her do it so many times that he, you know, thought he was, it was something that he'd want to try too. And he's fully capable of it because this whole wall is done. He did this entire, this big wall. I had to change my pants because mom wouldn't let me do it. At the beginning of this, I knew that we were going to have to mud and I wanted to. Because I watched you do it in Rio's room and it looked fun. And it is. Yeah, that's not if I could do it. And we found two of these. I don't even know what they're called, scrapers? So then, did that wall, and then I'm almost done with this one. Compound. It's for when you paint the wall, you don't see any screw holes. I think, maybe. You just know it's fun. Yeah, I just know it's fun. <laughs> asked if he could mud and so I showed him a little bit and he did it and then he just kept going. Not my favorite part of the job has been stolen. a few of the outlets in the main room and they were like really high overhead so it would have been a lot for Sweepy because she's a good amount shorter than me but now she is in the garage space so we're gonna run a outlet here so I can use it to work once all this is clean mm -mm. we're leaving this an outlet oh yeah this is staying an outlet it's gonna stay plugged in up here okay we're gonna get um, one of those extension cord um, the wind up ones? The wind up ones and have that also plugged in right here. Uh -huh. But we're gonna have a, like a sistered up outlet that runs down this step there. And then one that goes from there, there. And yes, I know that's a lot of different things on one line of electricity or whatever you call it. But if you don't know by now, we kind of just go with the flow <laughs> and mm -hmm. see if it works. Yep. I know I look like a weirdo right now, <laughs> eyeballing. And just to re-clarify, all of the power for this space has been shut off. If you don't have one of these, this is called a receptacle tester and it'll tell you how your outlets are working. It'll also tell you uh, if you've wired things up properly. Pick up one of these if you're doing electrical in your house.
back crack. Are you gonna be all right? So we use the tool to like plug into each outlet that we've daisy chained together and we can see that we're not getting proper power to the second two outlets. So we're going to take apart the one in the ceiling because that's probably where our issue is and then we'll see if maybe the ground isn't attached right or something. But something's not right up there well, as and I we got to figure it out. As I pulled the outlet, the white, the white wire popped out so I think it just wasn't in tight. Okay. Game. Well, the power went on, but the it still says live hot. After some very minimal YouTube research, it seems like uh, the problem is in our hot wire, which is the black wire. So we're snipping it, or Sweepy is snipping it back a little bit, reattaching it, and we'll see if that fixes our problem. Uh, that's like best case scenario. There we go. Good? Yeah, wait. It says there's an open ground. Sweepy stepped out for a moment to check on the kids and uh, I reattached the ground wires. Uh, and there's two orange lights. Which means we're good. Still works. One day later. That was a long day. What's our agenda today? To shake this can up to down for one minute before you. We had one can of this wall texture in our supply cabinet. So this is all we have. So if you do fine texture, you can get up to 125 square feet. I think you'll do it. All right. Use sparingly. We started out the day by sanding down Knocking down. You have mask marks. Now we got this texture spray. I'm going to texture it. And then Sweepy wants to knock out more of this wall that's like in our stairwell. We got to knock this out and we're going to paint the room. So spraying the ceiling, rolling the walls, and then we're going to paint the floor as well. Try and get that done today. We'll see. Has it been a minute? Still shaking? Still shaking it. next we're knocking the hole in the wall i already said that hole in the wall when we redid the office the first time we knocked this hole in the wall Six so you could kind of see just lets in more light oh. you okay shinner funny bone of the knee <laughs> no. I hit my head now it my made knee. you laugh it worked I... when we opened it up we ran into this electrical so we were like oh let's just go to here and we'll tuck it behind this stud i'm not scared of electrical anymore say that again i'm not scared of electrical anymore nope be like, oh, I see a cord. I'll move it. Yep. <laughs> anyway, and then we'll put like two by two um, slats vertically. in between, vertically in between these, just for um... drywall. Oh. Cool. It's gonna look cool. It's gonna look so cute. It's mosquitoes. This 
is a good reason uh, not to cut too far into your wall before you know what's behind it. 14 to 600 volts in that wire. Nice. Oops. Oh lordy. It's just my computer desk. Look at that mess. It's not from the 2x4 though. This is going to go this way. This one we're going to pull out and run it down this way and up. And then we're going to put a piece of drywall here and a piece of wood here to kind of make a faux like beam situation with all the electrical running into it. Yeah. So all of our electrical will be consolidated into this little strip here. And if that didn't make sense to you, then you just have to see, it. Just have to see it right now. We're going to do it. First try. It's because we had practice yesterday. Wait, Dad, this is Ha ha! Fun. And you know what's annoying, or what's not annoying, is this is all tight. This outlet box used to like push and jiggle. Angle. As you can see by the bokeh, it's nighttime. Oh, look, I'm over there. Wow. Did this open this? That's in a lot more light, huh? Yeah. Obviously, there's work to be done. This is where all of our electrical ended up, is in this beam here. Drywalled in. Looks good. In case you can't see me, it's because I'm wearing camouflage. Full camos tonight. Uh, you know, you want to paint in clothes you don't mind ruining. And you know, the only time I'm going to wear this camouflage is if I'm playing paintball with Shiloh. I figure a little bit of black paint won't hurt it at all. So I got camo head to toe. Well, head to ankles. I'm wearing paint clothes because I'm gonna be using the spray gun. We're gonna try and spray the entire ceiling black. Sweepy doesn't think the sprayer is gonna work. I think it'll work enough to get at least the, corner, the corners in the ceiling. We painted this whole ceiling white when we first made this my office space back in the day. You can see there's little like yellow stains all over the beams. We primed the beams two times and then painted white over it and the yellow still came through the beams. Which was um, water damage. Yeah, so we, what we found out is that this actually used to be a deck above us. It's a roof now, um, but when it was a deck, there's tons of leaks that were coming through and there's a lot of water damage in here. So like, there, you can see that we removed the beam here. What? <laughs> Scared me. Sleepy started laughing, I didn't know why. Thank you. The black obviously is gonna hide all of this old water damage that keeps coming through the wood. So out of sight, out of mind. Sweeping. Hardy, hard, hard. Sweeping. Sweeps. <laughs> Here's one of the major California fault lines running straight through our garage. Yep, there it is. Uh, I know that we had the paint sprayer out and it looked like we were going to spray everything and be all happy and dandy and do it with ease and it would be great. Oh, you missed a, you missed a beam. On this side you missed. No. <laughs> Oh, dang it. <laughs> I was sitting there <laughs> It wasn't that easy to paint this because our our paint sprayer ended up being garbage. And uh, so we painted everything in by hand. 
Yeah, that paint sprayer was garbage. That paint sprayer was complete garbage. So we'll get a new one. I had to cut them in by hand, and then we rolled the top and then both sides of every beam. So it took us two days. That was two days to paint the ceiling. And then Sweepy powered through all of the walls, two coats on the walls. The bricks. Um, you saw that we knocked this out here. We ended up taking out the two by fours as well. We stacked two of them here. It's kind of a little bit of a support. Next week or so, we'll do our amazing vertical aesthetic piece in, in this space. The last thing we need to do in this room before we can put stuff in it is paint the floor. And did you talk about what you're doing yet? Nope. Do you want to talk about it? No. You want to just time lapse it? Yeah. No. It's, it's a sweet pea original. Yeah, right. It's a sweet pea original. What I mean by that is she thought it up. It was not my idea at all, but it's a great idea. Like most of the cool things we do in this house, it's all her. She doesn't want to talk about it, so I'm just going to set up a time lapse and you're going to be like, what? Before. The floor. After. Last of it, yeah. Stop. I just gotta cut in on the dark spots against the wall. How are we gonna end this vlog? Ooh. Showing what that looks like. Oh, my hand. Just watch him paint dry. Yeah. A mosquito. It's gonna get you. You don't get to see it finished. Again. No, this has been this has been a process because we want to release vlogs every week and in order to do that we need to be really real with our timeline. We're not we're like posting every week. We're not ahead of our posting schedule like some people are. I'm literally finishing this vlog tonight, posting it in the morning. So um, this is this is where we are. This is where the project is at today. Next week, we will be finishing this project. The kids are excited. This is gonna be more than just a space to play music. It's gonna be an office space. It's gonna be a hangout zone. And we've got some really cool details that we're bringing into this space next week. So tune in, we'll share them with you if you wanna hit the bell so you know. You get notified as soon as the video goes up. Oh no. <clears throat> I think I whacked him away. I bet he's gonna get stuck in some wet paint somewhere and I'll pick nope, him out he's later. he's right there, he's coming for you. Let's go. Okay. See you next week. Say it. I'm taking a picture. Say it back in the comments. See you next week. Aww.